if Seth and Moses would still be here, you could shoot Moses' cards, which would make them both angry or, I don't know, angry, but they would both go become like NPCs so you could kill them. Just telling you, but I can't show you that at the moment because I loaded the game a moment ago. And I'm not sure if it affects affects the game later if you kill them both, or if you kill either one of them. But you can do that if you're up, uh, if you don't like Moses or Seth, when them having fun playing their cards and Moses being a brain dead guy who doesn't know how to play cards and doesn't even like playing cards. So yeah, when I did that, Moses can like eight Seth. Do not fret, I shall save thee! Ouch. Oh no, you won't, you godless maggot! Damn it! No! Bad! Get down! I can never thank you enough! What are you doing out here anyway? Ain't you seen what's going on? What? Oh, come on. I just saved your life and immediately they're like, Oh, God, stop getting away from me. Oh, God. God damn it. Being a nice guy never pays off. Usually. Although in Fallout New Vegas, being a good guy almost never pays off. Evil guys always get the caps. It's worth God. Yes, as you can know, notice, I got my war horse because I forgot to, you know, activate from here. You have begun earning the loyalty of your mount. It does now increase. Let me not do this bond. Well, that was that took a long time. Well, not really. I just I have been like riding this horse like in five, for five minutes or less. Oh no, zombies! It's a good thing that zombies can't climb. In this game, that is. In Left 4 Dead, they're complete bullshit zombies because they can climb. And like... They can climb... Even if there is no, like, even if there's no ledge for them to climb, they just, somehow they can just climb air, climb on air or something. I don't know how cool I say it so it sounds smart or anything, but you know, sometimes the zombies in Left 4 Dead, they just, they just glitch that way and they start climbing nothing. But enough of Left 4 Dead and it's many and numerous and hilarious glitches and now we're in Red Dead killing these stupid little zombies who can't climb and they're stupid and, and don't really like playing cards. Oh, he died. Or no, wait, he didn't. Whoa, misses! Calm down, there's plenty of John Marston to go around. Whoa, buddy, I'm not that way. Yeah, get back, boy. Just died. Whoa, I bet that's a zombie dog. Get down, dog. I don't like your kind of dog around here. You're nothing but a hound dog. Yeah. Hmm, the dog has something. What the hell? I'm the dog, dude. Well, I'll be. Okay, where's the rest of them? Pow! And... Come on, pow! I love you, are dead. Not big surprise. Oh, ho, ho, ho! 
Zombies, oh yeah. Go work those crops. You know, because they're dead, you know, they make the soil better. <laughs> oh, I'm so witty, alright. Oh, that wasn't funny at all. Yeah, probably wasn't. Ah, oh, no. Well, at least in this game, the zombies don't try to bite your dick off. I like in Dead Rising. Damn, that shit is nasty. At least Rockstar has some decency to not make the zombies try to bite your dick off, you know? Not bad at all. Now for some double barrel justice. Well, alright. Oh! Damn. Aw, oh, they want to give me a hug. No dice, buddy. I don't need no hugs. Damn straight. Oh yeah, I got those Molotovs. I suppose I could be using those. Maybe. Maybe. Man, these zombies are poor. I bet they're Mexican. Nah, just kidding. Or maybe they are, who knows? <laughs> No, no, fire. Repeat the ammo. Well, I suppose I'll go take all of this ammo, seeing as ammo is so scarce. And it seems like you need tons of ammo. And you know, having some extra ammo doesn't, never hurts. Except in Fallout New Vegas. Did you get over encumbered? Over encumbered, I mean. And then you walk slow, and then you get eaten by ghouls. Indeed, my good, good wild, wild west friend. They just came out of nowhere, lightning fast. Now you're talking. John Marston, are you high? You think your friggin' chest are chests are talking to you? John Marston, you bad boy. You told me you are you you weren't gonna take the that chewing tobacco too much. You gotta cut down on your chewing tobacco, Marston. You're going high again on that chewing tobacco, you know. First hell walk the earth and you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. No, oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? <laughs> Fine and dandy. We should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy! What was he doing in the bar? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, stop teasing me! Oh, he's a zombie. Now, come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. 
Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. Oh, he's a zombie, all right. Time to barbecue some zombies. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I do say, this is reminding me of the first mission. Climbing up in the barn. Damn it. I never liked the guy anyways. Talking about his stuff while drinking tea. Don't like that kind of stuff. Kinda British, you know what I'm saying. Drinking tea and all. And eating cheese and cupcakes. Too British for me. Way too damn British. So he's gonna pay. He's gonna pay. Finish style, you know. Because we do not use Molotovs in the war. Ahoy there! Aw, oh, come on, you know he's a zombie. Whoa. Get down. Friggin' walking tiki torches. Holy crap, for a moment there I thought he was gonna climb up here. Come here! Bastard! Take that. Who wants me next? Sorry, Mr. McFarland. You were a good man. You're a good man who liked to drink tea instead of coffee. Kind of weird in my opinion. I knew you were always weird. It's always the evil guy who drinks tea. It's always the evil guy. Have you ever watched movies because, you know, have you ever seen the good guy drinking tea? Well, I don't recall anyone drinking tea who's a good guy. The mark of a evil guy, I tell you. The mark of a evil guy.